Well, we've got a couple of major league debuts. It's a battery debut. First, Umberto Sanchez. He came over from the uh, Tigers in the Gary Sheffield deal. And he's coming back from Tommy John surgery. That's what he's done in the minors this year. He throws hard, 19 strikeouts in 14 and two-third innings with five walks. And he's going to be pitching to Francisco Cervelli. And um, Cervelli in spring training, any chance of having a big minor league season was ended right here when Elliot Johnson of the Rays smashed into him. And boy, that started a war of words between the two teams. Joe Girardi thought it was unnecessary at that time, and Cervelli broke his wrist. So he's making his major league debut. And Sanchez deals a strike to Phillips. Joe Girardi looking on. Cervelli is one of those highly thought of prospects, obviously getting a September call up to the major leagues, but they say he can catch and throw with anybody at this level right now. Offensively, it might take a little time for him to figure it out how to swing the bat, but they really like what he does behind the plate. You know, we saw that collision, and he was hurt. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but when Jorge Posada was learning how to catch, they transferred him from second base in the Yankee minor league system. He got into a horrific crash at home plate. He tried to break, block the plate, and he had his ankle snapped. And Stump Merrill was his manager. And Jorge was telling the story the other day. And he went to Stump. He said he was lying in the dirt crying. That's how much pain he was in. And he told Stump, that's it. I'm never catching again. I don't need this. This is ridiculous. And Jorge even admits he doesn't block the plate like that anymore. He comes up and tries to come back. But that's going to be a scary thing for a catcher, John, to sit there and know that you're going to absorb this guy coming in at full speed and you're standing still. Yeah, and no, I've only had one. Uh, it was a minor knee injury when I was in college on a play at the plate. But, you know, it's you, you got to get rid of the demons, though. If you're going to go back there and play that position, you're expected to block the plate. So, uh, you know, we'll see how Cervelli reacts after breaking his wrist. Pudge Rodriguez had a long career behind the plate. He knows what that's all about, as does Joe Girardi. What was your worst incident? Bigly or anywhere where somebody rang your bell. Oh, I got I got run over in double A. I forget who it was some uh, some kid with the Mets in the minor leagues. He drilled me got me good. You know one of those nothing was broken nothing was injured but you get up and your bells rung. You don't want to show him that he got a good shot on you but that one left the mark. Breaking ball, strike three. Sanchez gets Phillips looking. We've heard a lot about Sanchez throwing hard, but he's showing a big hook in this inning. Good curveball, freezes Phillips. A little 12 to 6 curveball action, gets his first major league strikeout. Now, the Yankees made the trade with the Tigers, and they knew. That Sanchez was probably going to need elbow surgery. They knew it, but they thought so much of his talent that they still made the deal. Uh, teams are not scared off by Tommy John surgery anymore. They're scared off by shoulder surgery. But the Yankees have drafted guys that needed Tommy John surgery. They were fine with it. They took him in the first round, Andrew Brackman. There's a ground ball to first. Miranda to Sanchez. Two away. There's a scar. I, yeah, I know. I know what you're saying. That you know that that scary thing, and who you know, who knows how it plays out, especially with a young pitcher who really hasn't performed at the major level. There's a reason why you hurt your arm, and I just know that you know by my own experience of I had bad mechanics, and I ended up having two shoulder operations, and I changed mechanically. So yes, teams are not less afraid because guys are actually stronger with the stronger ligament. But if you really haven't, you know, achieved much success at the major league level, there's a reason why your elbow hurts and you're throwing mechanically wrong. And then that's where the whole, you know, you mentioned Andrew Brackman, the NC State number one pick that the right. Yankees made. You know, you so see, you have to now have to say, okay, you know, you're doing things incorrectly the way you're throwing the ball. It's undue strain. You have to make some modifications in your delivery. Do you have to do that even with the elbow because they put a tendon there that's stronger than the ligament, right? I mean, wouldn't that hold up even with bad mechanics? Yeah, but you'll still feel pain, Michael. It, it, you're putting in a stronger ligament. You know, the fact that you're leading with your elbow, that's why that's where all the torques go in. And it's going to be sore. You're more than normal soreness.
Nine one Yankees lead. We're in the top of the eighth inning here at the stadium. Yankees looking to take three out of four from the first place White Sox. Tampa Bay leads Minnesota 8 6, ninth inning. Ozzy Gein keeping an eye on that game. And the 2 1. Right back up the middle, but right there is Ransom. Had it played beautifully and guns down Tome for the final out of a 1 2 3 inning. So Umberto Sanchez in his first big league inning puts down the side in order and we go to the bottom of the eighth 9 1 Yanks. <laughs> 